Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a Keystone Passport with an extra special guest. We have Nate, our Keystone Passport Manufacturer's representative. I'm gonna turn it over to Nate in just a second, but first I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can like us on Facebook and take a look at us on Instagram and Twitter, and you'll be able to keep up with the latest news and videos here at Byerly RV. Now, Thanks, Nate. Take it away. Yeah. Guys, here is our 2870. Brand new floor plan for the Keystone Passport brand this year. Lightweight laminate. It is our opposing slide island floor plan kitchen coming in at 6,700 pounds. So 6,700 pounds for opposing slides with an island is pretty killer here. We're scanning view at our front cap, painted front cap here. Coming around to the side, you can see brand new for Passport this year is slam latch baggage doors. Inside of our slam latch baggage doors, We've got a new exterior convenience center, all in one convenience center here, all cleaned up. We've got our ship lap behind here as well. No exposed wiring. Here inside, we've got our electric stab jack controls, satellite prep, outside shower, hot and cold inside of there as well. You know, real quick also, I just want to note, I, I love how you guys actually put this little tray right here to catch whatever might drip off. Yeah. You know, it's, it's whenever I do these videos, and if you guys watch them, I always talk about how it's the sum of many little things that make a difference. And these guys, you know, the Passport, like we've talked about before, this is a vehicle that's been built by the same people in the same building for many years, and they've incorporated so much great new stuff, but it's like even just the little stuff. Little things. It's so absolutely. awesome, you know? Yeah, absolutely. On the front here, you're gonna see brand new for us is a battery disconnect on all Passports, along with solar prep. Up here, we're gonna have power tongue jack on all Passports. On the front side here, again, Pass-through storage, 48 cubic feet of, for, of passport, sorry, 48 cubic feet of exterior storage on all passports here. Nice clean look on the inside. This 2870 you're gonna see has two awnings here, two electric awnings, a drop down step, standard aluminum wheels. On the back, we're gonna have a rear bumper, a um, backup camera prep. We're going to have spare tire and a roof ladder on all of them. Uh, we've got a large entry grab handle and that pretty much sums up the outside if we guys uh, we want to go take a look on the inside. Well, here we are inside the brand new Passport, you guys, and this is your brand new look. We've got new colors. We've got, oh, just, I guess, you know what, Nate, take it away, but tell us about all the, I mean, this, guys, if you've looked at a Passport before, please stay tuned to this video for what you're about to see here because what you're going to see is a Passport like none you've ever seen before, right? Yeah, yeah thanks, Dave. Again, listening to the customers. Our customers have been asking us, for things like backsplash, which, you know, in uh, a higher dollar uh, brand, that might be there. And now we've added it standard to the passport. Things like a fireplace families right. have been asking for. And you guys might say to yourself, why do I need a fireplace in a camper, right? Well, this is a built-in electric space heater, okay? So a lot of us in the wintertime, when we're gonna go camping, we go and we find an electric spot, we'll take a little space heater with us so that we can use the electricity we already paid for yeah. instead of using our propane. So. Even though it, this is literally a built-in electric space here, so you don't have to bring another one. And also, I know from my daughter's uh, opinion, this is a awesome nightlight if you've got someone in Yeah, here. great, absolutely. So I don't want to forget to scan around the floor plan here. So this is a, a new exciting floor plan for us. Being so lightweight and low cost for Passport, we're giving you a, a double slide, opposing slide, island floor plan, which is very popular floor plan out there, but nobody can tow it. Uh, you know, a lot of the beginner families can't tow it. Right. A lot of people don't want to have to spend $70,000 to get a truck that can tow this. Right. And at 6,700 pounds in the 2870 here, anybody can tow this. A lot, a lot of families out there are going to be able to tow this. And this is just a great floor plan for that weight. Uh, you're going to get the standard table and chairs here in this floor plan. You notice here. Oh, my here, gosh. There's so, uh, what's you, not here? Exactly, <laughs> yep. There's not the knee knocker. There's not the table stand in the middle underneath there. So this is a big feature for us. Underneath there, you're going to notice that no passport has carpet anymore. So gone are the days of carpet in the passports. We've got the nice, clean look here. Theater recliners right across from the TV. And that's a big sales point, as we talked about in some of your other videos, Dave. All of our TVs are going to be right across from the sofa or a theater recliner. All passports are also going to come standard with that TV that we talked about. They're all 40-inch TVs, which is a nice feature. Yeah. This passport has the 15K AC standard. All GTs come standard now with the 15K AC. I also want to touch base on windows. In this floor plan, we have windows everywhere. Yeah. And all of them open. Yes. And here's a, the slide out window. Yep, slide side windows, they all open and they're all tinted. So a right. lot of brands out there are cutting costs and taking tent off of windows or adding windows that don't open, not the Keystone Passport. All of our windows open. 
You'll see with Passport this year, we've got a new floor color. We've got new uh, detail in the vents and in the handles. We're doing hidden hinge cabinets. We're doing a polar or, or drop down roller shade. Sorry, Dave, we didn't even look at that. That's all right. We've got the uh, roller shade here. Love it. Standard and all Passport GT is a nice feature for us there. We've got the Furion cooktop. And if we can scan around over here, I want to touch base on storage. We have drawers everywhere. We've got four drawers here, four drawers here, another one here. We have six drawers here. So we are going to have more than enough storage. We oftentimes hear families at shows talk about not enough storage. You won't hear that here. We have the five panel door on the pantry storage here. You're also going to see this nice five panel door throughout all of our bedrooms and our bathroom doors as well. New countertop, single bowl sink, a cutesy faucet here. We're going with the larger 12 volt reefer inside this passport here. Again, the backsplash, the new countertop color, the new glass inserts for us this year. Again, a complete facelift. We have the new wallboard as well, uh, which you'll see on those corners over there, sorry. The trim around the slide, Dave, the slide out yeah, trim right. seems to go great with everything else that we're talking about here. Again, the Furion cooktop. Just, yeah, I want to talk a little bit really quick yeah, if I can please. about these appliances because if you guys have seen my other videos, you know how fond I am of this cooktop, okay? Part of a modern floor plan that we've talked about is the modern floor plan of, for example, having reclining seats across from our TV, for example, right? But another indication of a modern floor plan is a modern appliance here in the kitchen, okay? Anybody who's had a camper before knows that these stove covers we've had in the past were these metal things. They were very difficult to use. They would bend. Um, this thing's got this great little spring. And then my igniter here, not only does that ignite my top burners, but that actually ignites my oven pilot light now, which is something we never had before. And bonus, we've actually got a little oven light, which again is something that we've never had before, right? Doesn't take a whole lot to make us happy in the camping world, but this is cool stuff. I want to mention too that this exhaust vent is vented to the outside. Yeah. You guys are one of the manufacturers that still does that. And so many folks will cut costs, like you say, and this isn't actually vented outside. So what good does that do, right? Um, and then on the fridge, 12 volt compressor driven fridge, you guys, this fridge is, I believe it's 10.3 or 10.6 cubic feet. 10.3, yeah. 10.3 cubic feet, but this fits in the same space that an eight cubic foot RV fridge fits into. And we have the ability to, it's a 12 volt compressor driven. 12 volt means that it will run on battery. My battery gets power from my tow vehicle. It gets power from the plug I'm plugged into at a campsite, or it's got its own power when it's not plugged into anything. Compressor driven. It doesn't need to be leveled to work properly. It gets cold very quickly. And of course, higher capacity so that you guys don't have to run to the store in the middle of a camping trip, right? And then the pantry, wow, this is, you can't, I mean, this is just awesome. Like you said, you, you can put so much stuff in here. And then we went through the drawers kind of quick, but this drawer right here, okay. I can put like an electric skillet. They know we're gonna bring big stuff, right? So the fact that you guys have different size drawers is, is just so awesome. And again, Every bit, everything you see here, I've got room down here for a waste basket. There's actually room for a waste basket and a recycled basket, you know? This is another thing that so many campers don't have a place for a waste basket. But when you guys have been doing this as long as you guys have and have all the feedback that you have from all these clients, we get stuff like this. There's even little cubbies right here. I mean, there is literally storage absolutely everywhere on this thing. It's, it's amazing. And I love what you guys did with the table legs. Holy cow, you guys, I don't really think you realize what's going on here. There are no legs underneath this. It is, I look at how sturdy this thing is. This is awesome. This this is, good job, man. Very, very good job. You know, I don't know, so we we're talking about air conditioning stuff. We do have a barrel ceiling in here too, you guys. So, you know, tons of headroom. I mean, even I can't the tall even touch, person. I can't even touch the ceiling Seriously, here. Seriously, you know, and I mean, how many times, if you're over six foot tall and you've shopped for these things, I think you know. So, all right, right well, hey, let's, uh, I'll, I'll give it back to you, sorry. Yeah, you know, we're, we're not all three gonna fit back here, but I just wanna point out a couple of things. As I was talking about, you're gonna see this five panel door run throughout the bedroom and the bathroom there. And again, in this price point, this is a great piece here. When you come through this entry door, this is actually the first thing that you see. And this is a great feature here, a very good looking feature. Inside of our bathrooms, we're gonna have medicine cabinets in all of them. But what I wanna show is that we got away from bathtubs. Bathtubs are kind of a thing of the past. We now have large shower pans with retractable doors in every single passport there. So uh, big, small, you guys can all fit inside those showers now. In the uh, bedroom back here, we're gonna show off a couple things here in this bedroom. I'm gonna spin around here. Standard true queen bed here. So this is a true queen bed, not an RV queen. If you need to replace your mattress at Walmart, you can do that. And this floor plan here is also gonna get a little storage closet in here with a hanging rod. 
you can fit whatever you need in here, a couple accessories, a couple of your uh, shirts inside of there as well. So just some added storage. We also have double struts underneath our beds with full storage underneath there. Underneath here, we're gonna have 110 plugins on each side of the bed, USB plugins on each side of the bed, lots of storage, nice looking countertops and cross ventilation windows. Guys, this is missed often. We've got double windows in here, two windows for cross ventilation. Again, a big feature that goes unnoticed quite often. Right, and that's, that's again, back to that whole sum of many, many little things. You know, I love how you guys left the room there underneath that cabinet between the table and the cabinet for things like CPAP machines or whatever somebody may have. Um, I wanna, just the bathroom, you know, you mentioned this, you know, you guys, we've got counter space next to the sink to actually set things. Yeah. How many things have don't have any of that? And, you know, a humongous shower, but you actually, I mean, there are tons of storage next to it so that people can put their towels and stuff actually in the bathroom and not actually have to find somewhere else in the camper to put them. And you're absolutely so right, you guys, about listening to people about the tubs. I mean, if there's one thing folks have been asking for is not the tub, you know? I mean, tubs are great. You know, I mean, you can put ice in them and put beverages in them and stuff like that, but <laughs> right. the bathing in them isn't really very practical, yeah. is it? Right. So, you know, Nate, again, thanks a lot for coming out. The new Passport, you guys, as you can see, this thing is absolutely awesome. This is just one of the entire, we got 19 different yes. floor plans, 19 right? 19 floor plans. Now. 19 floor plans, you guys gotta check it out. They've all been revamped, new, new everything, just like we've said. Um, and uh, available here at Byerly. Uh, we have stuff in stock. Make sure you check our website, www.byerlyrv.com, and check to see what we have in stock. Feel free to call out. I certainly don't want anybody to waste a trip. It's certainly uh, um, challenging right now to keep uh, things in stock and probably will be for the foreseeable future. So please feel free to call out um, and see if we have something coming if you don't see it on the website too, guys. Um, so again, Nate, thank you very much. Everybody, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.